The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am D. John Stani, your mathematics teacher. Let's start the lesson by looking at the correction of the assignment we had in the last lesson. Given the vector u, negative 1, 2, and the points a, 1, 2, b, negative 1, 3, and c, negative 2, negative 2 of the plane. Determine the images of these points under the translation t, t, u. So let's do the translation of each of those points, and then we would have had their images. Again, we said that for every translation vector given as A, B, if there is a point M, X, Y, it will be translated or transformed into a point M prime given as X plus A Y plus B based on this idea the point A 1, 2 when translated will be will give us A prime and A prime will be you taking this matrix, this vector and adding to that one so on the other hand I can put it this way that ok our A prime, our A is 1, 2, our B is negative 1, 3, and our C is negative 2, negative 2. So we are saying that A prime with coordinates x prime, y prime is equal to the points A. 1, 2, plus the translation vector. And our translation vector has been given as u equal to negative 1, 2. So we have negative 1, 2. When we add this, we have 0. We have 4. So the point A prime has coordinates 0, 4. Okay, the next one is B. B prime with coordinates x, y. Yeah, so when we have um, when we finish translating each point, we could also write it this way. A prime as 0, 4. 
That's the coordinates of the point that is the image of a 1, 2, or 1, 2. So here we will have b is negative 1, 3, plus the translation vector negative 1, 2. And that gives us negative 2, 5. So the point B prime has coordinate negative 2, 5. And then C prime, X prime, Y prime, will be equal to C has coordinate negative 2, negative 2 plus negative 1, 2, which is the translation vector. And that gives us, when we add this, we have negative 3, negative 1. So C prime is negative 3, negative 1. Those are the coordinates. So if we look at that, when we look at that, we see that, okay, here, negative 2 plus 2 is not, is 0. That's what we have here. C, negative 3, 0. Which means, here is also 0. Then, for B, negative 2, 5. Correct? And for A, 0, 4. Good. So you see this, another way you could just uh, look at it. You just take the coordinates and fit in the various images. The coordinates of A plus the translation vector. And you do like that and you get your images. <laughs> Again, we are looking at plane geometry. And so far, we have done the topic vectors in two dimensions. We, we've started simple transformations. After, we will look at loci and then end up the module with geometrical constructions. Under simple transformations, we have done transformation using matrix, ma matrix operator. Then, We've also looked at transformation, where we are looking for the matrix operator. We started isometric transformations, and we've done translation using matrices. Now we want to look at isometric transformations, translation by construction. After that, we'll go to enlargement. Then we'll look at shear and stretch. Next, we'll look at invariant points and invariant line. Then we'll wrap up uh, that topic with successive transformations. Isometric transformations, translation by construction. That is the topic of our, the title of our lesson. This lesson will follow the following plan. We'll start with the objectives of the lesson. Then we'll look at the prerequisites, the knowledge or the concept that is just necessary for you to have a proper grasp of it so that you can study this lesson effectively. Then we'll look at the real life situation, then learning activity. And then we'll have an application exercise and wrap up the lesson with an assignment. So now let's look at the objectives of the lesson. Our lone objective is that by the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to determine the image of a point, a line, or a plane figure under a translation by construction. And what is it that we should know by now so that we can solve or uh, study this lesson comfortably? The learner should be capable of drawing a line parallel to another line and passing through a given point. So, let's verify that. Given the point A and the line D, construct the line or construct a line parallel to D and passing through A. So, look at the figure. 
we have a point here A and we have a line here Z. We are expected to draw a line that will pass through A and will be parallel to D. So the idea here is that uh, we draw a line in such a way that the distance from this li the line D to the new line will always be the same as the, line, the perpendicular distance from point A to point to line D. Perpendicular distance. Because you could take a point, a distance from here to this way, that's not the perpendicular distance. We want that the distance should be the same all throughout. And if we do that, we'll have something like this. These two lines are now parallel lines. And this line is passing through D. Real life situation. The figure below is a piece of loin of a loin with pattern. Mr. Kanga is the publicity agent of Sikam Company and would like to reproduce it exactly on advertising leaflets or flyers for commercial purposes. Help him to reproduce it using the notion of translation. The vector has been indicated, so the translation vector has been indicated. Now, this is the loin cloth, and this has this pattern here. This one is similar, but it is green, and this is, is also similar, but of different color. This is the piece of loin. Now, we on the advertising leaflets, we want to follow this translation vector to be able to reproduce what we are seeing on the left, on the right, which is the leaflet. Learning activity. You are given a graph paper with a square A, B, C, D drawn on it. Or, or, or with a triangle A, B, C drawn on it. And then we have a translation vector. Construct the points A prime, B prime, and C prime such that A prime, A, A prime is equal to u, b, b prime is equal to u, and c, c prime is equal to u. So this is the paper, this is triangle a, b, c, not square. And then we want to make sure that we draw in such a way that a, a prime will be equal to u, b, b prime will be equal to u, and c, c prime will be equal to u. Two. Construct the points A prime prime, B prime prime, and C prime prime such that A prime, A prime prime will be equal to U, B prime, B prime prime will be equal to U, and C prime, C prime prime will also be equal to U. So now we want to start doing that. Let me, even though I don't have the graph paper, but I want to make a small sketch and then we see exactly what is happening so that if you are doing the construction, you can also do the same. So, first, Now, let me take us here. So we have this triangle ABC. A, B, C. Then we have a translation vector indicated here. If we look at that diagram well, we see that the 
translation vector u is not parallel to AC. So I need to adjust this a bit. Mine is almost looking as if it is parallel. So the translation vector is something like that. Okay, that's the U there. So we are expected to draw a line such that A, a line will take up from A to a certain point A prime in such a way that this vector will be equal to U. In other words, this vector is exactly equal to this means that it, this vector should have the same length, that is magnitude, and should be in the same direction. And to do that, it means we need a vector that is parallel to this and of the same length. So we need a parallel line. So if we take the distance from here to here, it's the same distance that we have to take from here to wherever A prime is going to be. Secondly, we note that this translation vector is giving us the direction that each point will move. So if, since it starts from B, it means that B will be translated to this point here. So B prime will be here. Next now, I just need to get this distance. The distance from where A is, point A, to where point B is. Then I bring the same distance here. This is the distance and then I mark here. So this is the point here. It means that A has to move to this point and A prime will be here. This line effectively will move here. So I have the line here. When once I do that, this one will also move in the same way. So if I take the same distance from here, it should be the same distance that if I were coming here, it should be. So you will have a similar situation where we have a vector like this, parallel to this, but of the same length. So it should have the same length. So it stops here. So we have A, you can connect like this. Okay. So now, if we look at this, let me put this. This is A prime. This is B prime. And this is C prime. So this and this, uh, this uh, 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 the vector A, A prime is parallel to this or is equal to U. The vector B, B prime is equal to that. C, C prime is equal to U. So now, the next thing that they expect of us is to do a similar thing but obtaining the points A prime prime, B prime prime, and C prime prime. In such a way that a prime, A prime, prime should also be equal to U. Which means that from here, we need another parallel vector to U and of equal length. And then it will take us to the next point. And then, so if we were to do that, we are using the same idea. So we take B. It is easier to do for B first, since it just follows the same direction. 
the following, making sure that the length is the same. So we move like this. When we reach here, we stop. So we have the point here, B prime prime. B prime prime. Then we have A prime, which should follow the same pattern. So we make sure it is parallel to that. Now, if we look at this distance, then we can measure it this way. So it takes us to a point there, which is A prime. And if we do for C, we will have the point C, which should have the same path. If we, if we are tracing like this, C prime, then it should be like we are tracing this. But which is parallel to this, of course. Then now, what is the measurement we have from there to there? So we have this, and then we have this. So the essence here is Emphasis is on the idea of parallel lines and then of equal length or e parallel, uh, equal vectors. So here is going to be A prime prime, and then C prime prime, C prime prime. So this vector A prime, A prime prime is parallel to U, is always equal to U. And then C C prime, just as C prime, C prime prime is also parallel. So you see, we can reproduce like that as many as we want. So now, let me show it what we obtain here. So when we do it here, when we follow, you see that we, when we move it this way, B comes here. And then we can figure out our A here easily since we have a, this is a graph paper because we see that A and B were horizontal points. This was just one unit away from B. So we put A prime here, and then C prime is just in the middle of this uh, line here, just as C was here. Then we translate this from this point to this point B, B prime. And you see that it's still parallel to this and equal to it. So it is the same vector. So B prime, B prime prime is equal to vector U. And when we do that, we can identify our A prime here, and then C prime, A prime prime, and then C prime prime here. So the question is, is this figure what you expected? Of course, yes, because that's similar to what we did here. So it is the same figure we expected. So, yes, it is. So, what can we conclude and what can we retain from the lesson? To construct the image M prime of a point M under the translation, a vector, translation vector AB, we plot M prime such that M A B M A B M prime is a parallelogram. That is M M prime is equal to AB. So we always make sure the AB there is a translation vector like we have here. We discover that each image, each point with its image is always equal to the translation vector. If we do that, then we will be able to uh, 
I will do construction or translation by construction. This will only make sense if we can be able to uh, answer questions similar to that, to what we are. So look at this question. Given the figure below, construct its image under the translation T sub C or T, the translation vector is vector C. Now, this is vector C indicated here. And this vector is showing us the direction of each point. So when we take a point like A, if we want to translate it, we will move in this direction in such a way that it will be parallel to C. And it will move, of course, this length of distance. So from here, it will move that distance, stop somewhere. B will move parallel to C and stop somewhere there. And then C will move, D will move. All of them in that direction. So let's construct it and see how it looks like. So now look at the diagram now. So you see that this point B and point B prime, if you were to draw a line here, it will be parallel to this vector. A, A prime is parallel to this vector. D, D prime, parallel to this vector. And the gap or the distance between each point and its image is the same as the length of that vector. So that's how we do translation by construction. This is the second question. Let's have a look at it. We have a triangle here. And this is the translation vector. C, U. So this vector is vector U. And another way of looking at this, vector, uh, this translation here is the fact that when you take a point, you move it two units in the positive x direction and then one unit in the negative y direction. But since they've started from here, then there is a space that has been created here. So if we take this and Let's take this point that we want to translate. Normally, this translation vector starts from here. So these two squares are already off. And, but if I started from here, I would have had a move two, and then I come down here. So if I ignore these two squares, then I will leave from there two units and come here. So the point will be somewhere at three, negative two. I do the same here. If I leave these first two squares, I move two units to the right and then come down here one unit. Then the same will go with that. This one, when once I have this point, it's image. I just come this way and get the image of this. The idea is that this translation vector, we can also have it as vector maybe 2i minus j, which can be used to get the other trans the vector points. So when we do that, this is what we have. We have this image has been moved and put here. I mean, this object, its image has been brought here. And so that's how we can translate it. Question three, look at that. We have a parallel, I mean, a trapezium. And this trapezium is to be translated, is to be moved. And in the course of moving, the translation vector shows that I move one unit to the right and one unit up. So if I take this point, I will move it to where it is now. That's 0, 3. If I take this point, I'll move it one unit this way and up, so I will bring it to 4, negative 1. When I take this point, I'll bring it here to 4, negative 4. And then this point will be brought to this point. So that object would have been moved as such. So this is it. We have the image here in red. So that's how we can translate that. The trapezium has been gone to its new location. Um, you will also be expected to do something like this. 
Uh, this will help you to be uh, more practical and uh, uh, reinforce what you have learned. And it will be encouraged that you use either a square exercise book or a draft paper. So given the figure below, construct the image of this house. That's a sketch of the house. Under the translation T vector, uh, the translation vector V. So this is the vector V. So each point will move depending on how uh, this vector has been indicated. So it will, and as you draw from each point to each image, it should be parallel to and equal to this vector. And then you do for all the points, and then you will get the new uh, position. Uh, this brings us to the end of our lesson. And in the le next lesson, we will now be looking at reflection by construction. Una tege si, ma tege yop, una tege minga, ma tege nyum, una tege majang, ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia niña ne injubia yen, ngani bana, ma tege mot, ngani la kiri, wa tege ndong, esa kina, bia jinkido, ma ne tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia niña ne injo bia yen.